Leaders put their theories into action. Opinions are easily formed by many. Theories are a result of opinion, ideas, and sometimes research. But practice is about putting your money where your mouth is, to be very direct, or rather more politely, putting theory into action. Do you have an opinion about best practices for teachers? Where does your opinion stem from? Is there a little theory there aligned to research or past practice? Do you have a theory you have developed and played with a bit about learning or leadership? Do you have time served that you value? Or it may give you a sense of, I have a right to this opinion because I've been there and done it before. Do you have experience that has taught you wisdom, depth and understanding? Is your theory based on research? Is it a theory that's stuck in stone or is there flex in it to grow and to move? Let's get a couple of things clear. Time served and experience are two different things. Opinion based on experiences, reflection, theory and learning are very worthy. These are the opinions, these are the opinions that I seek. How we develop a theory, an opinion, or a guide to practice is one thing, but the question I have today is that teaching a theory or discussing an idea or strategy is one step, but it's next level when you put these into action, modeling these and showing these in a practice. That's whole effort and something different completely. I think teaching, oh, sorry, I teach leadership thinking, theories, ideas, and research. I coach individuals in a group and I run leadership courses. I read a lot about leadership. It is a passion and something I have worked hard to grow a deepened understanding of. I have worked in the job in previous lives. I've worked as a school leader in leadership in many, many different levels. I teach practical application of these theories and ideas and strategies and ideals. I work hard to try and keep it real. But can I put my money where my mouth is? Can I actually lead? Can I lead a school? Can I do what I suggest to others to do? Can I develop a team? Can I build capacity? Can I set up a new school system and processes effectively? And can I sustain it? I give feedback to, feedback to teachers. Can I act on the feedback I give? Can I model in a classroom and teach students? Can I move forward quickly? Do I understand practice enough, not just theory? Do I really understand the science of teaching and the science of leadership? Recently, I was faced with a number of opportunities to move into new and exciting roles. I was blessed to have a choice. But how do you decide? Without details, one role was more office, auditing, checking and system related, and another was more practical and hands-on. One required developing processes, while the other required putting them into action. Both paid about the same. One had a grander title than the other. So what do you do? It was a hard decision. I could so, I could climb a so-called ladder and make bigger decisions and have a bigger title and perhaps more authority. Or I could work at putting my theories into action. And I chose the latter. Why? Some people think I'm absolutely crazy. I am never one to chase titles. I work where I find joy and a passion. I like to connect and build and not to check and police. I really thought deeply about what I love and what, where I find drive. And of course, as I have done across my career, I stopped to make sure that what I think was about teaching and learning and leading, and that it is all actually real. I chose I chose to put my theory into practice, to put my money where my mouth is. So I'm back in a school setting, developing teams, building sisters, systems, leading teachers, communities and children. I'm putting leadership theory into action, starting from scratch. Not moving into a school that is running, but rather starting from scratch, building it from the sand up. 
employing every employee, developing every system, starting every development, establishing every team, living the forming, norming, storming, reforming and performing. Leadership in pictures has pushed me to this. Can I lead? And then, can I teach? I spend time teaching classes every day, coaching teachers and leaders. It is challenging me, making me self-check what I believe against what I do. It is such an exciting yet deeply evaluative and reflective process. Queen Elizabeth really did as she said. I dare declare before you all that my whole life, whether it be long or short, shall be devoted to your service. And she did. She sustained her promise. She put her words into action. She didn't just speak of service. She served. I guess this is my challenge this week to leaders. Can you put your words into practice? Because credibility starts here.